very strong breeze blowing out of the north and a big crowd in at the stadium today as Alan Langer takes the Brisbane Broncos out. They will have done their homework that they maybe didn't do for the corresponding game last year. O'Neill Hancock, Renoff, Johns Kahn, Walters Langer, Lazarus, Kerrod the hooker, G Thorne, Can and Ryan. Wayne Bennett in charge of the Broncos. John Simon it is that kicks off. Illawarra, a big winner over the Auckland Warriors last weekend, and of course Brisbane likewise over Western Suburbs. It was the Magpies, however, that defeated Illawarra at Campbelltown in the opening round by that slender margin. As uh, the Broncos get first use of the football out on their 30 metre line, and joining me in commentary today is Stephen Roach, and this should be certainly worthy of the match of the day steve yes yeah, certainly ray the player that i'll be looking for will be darren fritz up against the uh, probably the best front rower in the world in glenn lazarus if he can repeat his performance of last year we've got a long way for illawarra to win this game andrew g taking it up on this first set of six in fact the fifth tackle has gone as langer keeps it relatively low the breeze behind him in this uh, first half and beecham it is the fullback who's wrapped up as the Steelers get their first touch of the ball. Away from the wing is Rex Turp, the former St George player. Out to the 30-metre line, ordinary defence from Brisbane. Callaway is able to improve just a couple of metres as John Simon floats the pass across the face of uh, Fritz, and it's with Pincinelli. So Pincinelli playing it now, 40 metres out from the Illawarra line. Fritz, of course, had a boomer of a game against the Warriors and he'll be looking to repeat that he obviously gets uh, quite a kick out of playing well against the Broncos he's come out of that first tackle we might get a shot of him in a moment not too well as Simon's kick goes up and bounces at right angles over the sideline and that's going to be the problem for John Simon the big breeze behind the Brisbane Broncos must kick a little bit shallower if he's expected to make plenty of yards now this was uh, Fritz going up, and that tackle, it mightn't look as though it did, but it hurt Fritz. Scrum about 15 metres into Brisbane Territory, being worked by Langer. Walters, who's been in scintillating form, is with the ball now. Pincinelli quickly out of his uh, second row scrum position, making the tackle as Langer Gets a relatively quick play of the ball away for Brad Thorne. And Brisbane on the second tackle on this set. Kerrod Walters now using Andrew G, who thunders up to the halfway line. The prop forwards for Brisbane have laid a very strong foundation for them. And this is the other of them now, with Glenn Lazarus playing it, and now Alan Can. He takes it up to the 30-metre point, 30 point almost for the Steelers. On the last tackle we are, and it's with Langer to the air, the breeze pushing it down the ground, Beecham, he lost it, Khan almost got underneath his nose and took it, but uh, it's uh, Illawarra coming back and a penalty has been given to them. We've probably been told by Wayne Bennett to put plenty of pressure on Rex Turp, hasn't had an unhappy start to the season this season, missing a lot of tackles early, so I'm sure Alan Langer will put a lot of pressure on with the kicking game there. Richards picked up and driven into the ground by the Broncos, that was the kick from Langer and uh, Khan went within an ace of uh, getting a clean ball but he had been ruled offside John Simon then with the restart as Illawarra will attempt to reply to the pressure applied by Brisbane and applied by Alan Langer more specifically and Lazarus they try and eventually they get him down he plays the ball for Kerrod Walters to use Willie Khan coming off the wing Khan, centre of the ground, 11 metres out. Kerrod Walters, dummies to Langer, uses Andrew G. He got a pass away. It had a little question mark on it. And this is Brad Thorne who will play it. Three metres out from the line. From Kerrod Walters, a long ball. Langer does likewise. Kevin Walters. And then it's Julian O'Neill in from the full-back position. Good defence by the Steelers. O'Neill plays it 10 metres out. Kevin Walters runs to the line. Then Lazarus. And Lazarus is a metre out. The last tackle, Langer's calling for it. It was a sloppy play, the ball, but they'll still score. Ryan gets in. 
and it was all so easy in the final analysis. Brisbane score, Peter Ryan, four points to nothing. And the biggest problem there, Phil Awara dropping off tackles. We see the long ball. Alfie Langer used the decoy. Rodwell it was who came in, allowed Ryan on the outside of him. Bad play there from Rodwell, but an easy try to Peter Ryan. So this was the try on another angle. Turp had to come in. Pincinelli had to come across to fill the hole that was created. Sixth try of his career for Peter Ryan. Very good young player. One of several youngsters that uh, Wayne Bennett has brought on. And in fact, uh, had to make provision for. He would rather keep the Ryans and the, the Galias and the Thorns than hang on to people like the Gilmeisters and Hones. And uh, if you talk to Bennett, that's what he talks about for quite a long period of time in any conversation. The judgment of longevity, I think he calls it, in the modern game. Well, a sullen Illawarra, and might they well be, because it was a very soft try. They were under some pressure, though, but the way it came at the end was very soft. 97 career goals for Julian O'Neill. away from his century of goals and there it is between the uprights so Julian O'Neill has converted the Peter Ryan try Brisbane six the Steelers nothing at Steelers Stadium John Simon's kickoff is quite deep considering the strength of the breeze will he oh Khan he sent him off Martin Masella has been sent off by Eddie Ward yeah, it was a swinging arm too, Martin Masala. There's no excuses for that sort of tackle. It was on the same plane as his head. The right arm swung straight across the mush of Willie Kahn, and he looks to be in a lot of trouble. The Broncos come straight in. Here it is. Oh, a dead set swinging arm there from Martin Masala, and it looks like Kelvin Giles ordering Willie off to the, uh, the head bin. Well, Willie Kahn is probably the last person in rugby league that needed another high shot. The body bending back like an archer's bow. A sickening blow to Willie Kahn, who has taken several, several uh, head high shots in recent times. Great concern over. The Australian wing three-quarter, conscious as you can see. The tap to be taken by Callaway and Fritz now charges up at them. Just ahead of getting that right knee up a bit higher than uh, his natural running style. That could be a worry for him. Pincinelli now, 30 metres out, centre of the ground. The Steelers in front of a big home crowd. And they've got all the work to do. Timmons is taken by Langer. Brisbane, of course, will have to be doubly sure of what they do out there now because so often we see when a player gets sent off one from the other side is not too far distant in following across the line Beecham out in the outside center he's uh, held there about seven meters out from the line the little fullback plays the ball Simon pushes it on across to Pincinelli they had the numbers on the right they come back to the center and Timmons is pulled down and a penalty a penalty goes to Illawarra it wasn't that great hands there from the Illawarra Steelers. A beautiful pass from John Simon onto Pincinelli. Very underrated player. They looked like they were going to score out here on the left-hand side. A quick spread of the ball, but they turned the ball on the back on the inside from Pincinelli to Timmons. And I think they butchered a try there. They had the numbers, at least a four-on-three there. And the inside pass, and he's caught the, the Brisbane side for being offside. John Simon with this penalty shot of goal, just 11 metres out. <laughs> 
No Rod Wishart in the Illawarra side, so John Simon called on to do the goal kicking his first time as goal kicker this year. And an easy kick for him, one would think. 11 metres out, almost sitting on top of the uprights. He gets the first points for Illawarra. They're on the board, 6-2 they're trailing, but they're down to 12 men. A little bit worried about the, uh, the Brisbane defence. Very easy for Illawarra to work off their line then with uh, Pincinelli and Fritz again making big runs the, around the middle of the ruck. The Brisbane defence, just a bit, a little bit lacklustre. Ryan, the try scorer, plays it. Langer now takes it ahead. He had Walters with him. He got inside the tackle of Fritz. Somehow, rather, got it away. Kieran Walters tries to bat it down. John Cross has knocked it on. It'll be interesting to see what Eddie Ward says here. Well, he said play on. It'll make an interesting replay. This is McGregor. Played back now for Callaway. A penalty goes to the Steelers. Well, this is Langer getting the pass away. The player to watch is, is Cross. That's him coming in now. And there's no doubt it came off John Cross and then he fell on the ball. I was waiting for the touch judge to tell the referee that it was a knock-on. He allowed play to go. And on the very next play, Illawarra have come up with a penalty. Say fortune favours the brave. And it's going to require a brave effort from Illawarra to sneak out of this one. John Simon, successful with his one and only attempt just a short time back, raises the flags again, so... Illawarra edging closer to Brisbane. Now they trail six points to four. Right on the uh, on the Blue Pacific, the Steelers Stadium, or as uh, the fat man would say, adjacent to the Wollongong Ocean. And Pincinelli brings it back 15 metres out from his line. Callaway, here's the call from Cross. And he's picked up and driven. Oh, my goodness, Lazarus. But right underneath the ribcage and drove with the thighs. Pummeled that shoulder into Cross's midriff. And now here's Illawarra with Timmons doing good work. 11 metres from the halfway line. He's lost it. Play on, says Eddie Ward. Kevin Walters and Alan Langer. They push it along the line for O'Neill. 40 metres out now from the Steelers' line. Ryan. Langer. Hancock off the left wing. Dances around Fritz. And is met there by Sean Timmons and Dean Calloway. And now a penalty goes to Brisbane. Steelers hanging on too long in the tackle. Yes, and fair enough there too. Timmons, who was involved in that earlier break, just hanging on a little bit too, too long. It's one of Michael Hancock's trait that he tries to play the ball quickly. Too strong to put down on the ground. Just hanging on too long. Also involved Dean Callaway, but good refereeing there.
Julian O'Neill converted the try, scored earlier, now raises the flags off this penalty. So Brisbane push a little bit further in front. They lead 8-4. Simon, a little kick. Richards was offside. Renoff read it. Renoff playing in that uncustomary jumper 33 today. Well, the idea was right there from John Simon. They saw that uh, Michael Hancock had dropped back for the kick. The little chip through. Had it gone over Renew's head, it could have been a, a good play from the Steelers. McGregor there. Hancock right back ready for the kick. Here's Hancock now. Stretching out inside the 30 metre line. Sailor's coming up on his inside. The pass goes to ground and it's with the Steelers. Clean break made by the Broncos, Michael Hancock. Callaway pushes it across. Richards on. Simon with a long pass. It's out with Jonathan Britton. He's being chased by Kevin Welders. O'Neill comes at him. And now he throws the dummy. O'Neill took the dummy. McGregor's there. McGregor, he'll score. He'll bring the joint down. Big roar goes up. Length of the failed try. Jonathan Britton made the cake and Paul McGregor put the icing on it. They draw level. Oh, what a tremendous try there from the Illawarra Steelers. Here's the break from Michael Hancock. I thought Wendell Saylor was a little bit late to come in on the inside. A good tackle there. Turk came back and straight from here the turnover. Illawarra willing to spread the ball straight away. John Simon saw it was on with this long pass. Gets on the outside and there's Britton the replacement. Too much pace there for Kevy Walters. Julian O'Neill was in a little bit of two minds whether he'd go inside for McGregor. The little dummy thrown and look at this. He finally catches him O'Neill and McGregor sprints away. And look who's there, Glenn Lazarus. What a oh, great chase yeah. from him. That's unbelievable. I didn't see that block. You're quite right. What about Glenn Lazarus? Put him in your black book for a maiden somewhere on a Wednesday. Lazarus. I didn't see this, but that's that's Glenn Lazarus making that vain attempt at tackle. Tremendous try. Illawarra really doing a Brisbane on Brisbane, throwing it around inside their own 20 metre line. That's great rugby league. The crowd loved it. Well, we sing the praises of Jonathan Britton and Paul McGregor and Glenn Lazarus, but this man, he summed it up with that long pass. He converts the try that he started. Illawarra 10, Brisbane 8, the Steelers with 12 men. Now they go to the right again with Beecham, the fullback. McGregor now standing back deep in the three-quarter line off to the left as Richards is put away a meter out from the line Callaway a dummy half here they come now Simon with the long ball Pincinelli finds McGregor McGregor the dummy and he goes in oh you could read it you could read it a half an hour in advance of it happening and the kangaroo center the ill-fated kangaroo center does it himself, Paul McGregor. Yeah, well, the dangerous ball player is Neil Pincinelli. Very underrated. The long ball right again from ball John Simon. Again. The sliding defence of Brisbane Broncos puts him in the space on the outside of Chris Johns. It would have been a try anyway. He throws the dummy and scores the try. And put that down to the sliding defence, not numbering up properly. He's the dummy again. His wing three-quarter, Rex Turk, would have scored the try. Sailor in two minds. So head on, this is how it looked. Wendell Saylor really had a job and a half on his hands. Is he, is he the heir apparent to the Malmaninga Australian jumper? Is it Terry Hill? Is it another centre that uh, hasn't as yet worn the green and gold?
Three out of three for John Simon. Can he convert from near the touchline? He's hooked it. So no change to the scoreboard. 14 points to eight. That's how it looks. Incredible turnaround from Illawarra. Simon now. Beach him up on the back line. He goes back to the short side for Pincinelli. Callaway, Simon, Beecham now. Taken out by Kerrod Walters. Right on the 20-metre line they are. To the left they come for Darren Fritz. And Fritz is put away. 12 metres out from the line. Langer making the tackle with Brad Thorne. Callaway for Simon. Now it's in the hands of Timmons. McGregor out there. Tries to get around Renoff. Gets the ball out the back. And it's still with Illawarra to be played out there by Britain on the fifth tackle. Now it's with Cross and they go to the air. It'll sit up there into the breeze. Comes down for Richards. It's play on. It comes from Cross away. Callaway angles back. Gets the ball away. Rodwell, he gets it away. But Hancock, he comes up with it for Brisbane. Hancock making a great run just outside the 30-metre line. Well, these two sides, if you didn't know any better, it looks like they've been told to go out there and entertain. And look at Wendell Saylor dodging his way up to the Illawarra 40-metre line. Langer for Kevin Walters. He looks for his captain to stay with him, but they're able to keep the ball against his chest, and Kevin can't pass it. Kerrod can. He gives it off now for Brad Thorne. Richards goes in to make the tackle with Timmons. Down on the Illawarra 20-metre line. Six points the difference. Illawarra in front. Langer and Kevin Wald as they combine. Now Langer on for Sailor. That's a beautiful piece of work by the Brisbane Hards. They've laid the foundation, not only in this game, but since the season start. They come back to 14-12 now. Yeah, what a great passage of play here. The run around again by Alfie Langer. Gee, they do it so well. The inside ball. And he stays alive, Alfie Langer. Good vision from Langer. He sees the winger Terps come in. The long ball over to Wendell Saylor. And I don't think he'll ever score an easier one than that, Rabs. No, I think you're probably right. I'm trying to work out why Rex Terp came in. Uh, he does, however. He goes in on Alan Langer there. And he leaves Wendell Saylor with the biggest corridor you've ever seen. 18 tries for Wendell. A reprieve in an unfortunate way for Wendell when Willie Kahn was taken out by Martin Masella. 45 minutes late for training yesterday and he felt the wrath of Coach Bennett. Gillian O'Neill is about to attempt his 100th successful goal. And he's got it, I do believe, from the touchline. Great kick from Julian O'Neill. Brings the scores level. And Julian's 100th goal in first grade. Fourteen all, just in front of half time. Only a matter of seconds remaining. And Wendell Saylor, 25 metres out from his line. The try scorer, as the big fella blocker said, he won't score any simpler try than that. And uh, look at Lazarus. Look at Lazarus. It doesn't matter what he does today. It probably doesn't matter what he does all season. In my memory, the day that he chased Paul McGregor, and failed to stop a try will remain as probably the play of Glenn Lazarus in the 1995 season, unless he can pull out another miracle from somewhere. I know Rabs that he was embarrassed about his season last year, so he's, he's really put in in the off-season and very hungry for a big year this year. Five tackles gone. Kerrod Walters appealing for a penalty. It's not forthcoming. Langer is. He puts the kick across. Renoff! Renoff picks it up on the bounce and puts it over the line. Hello. 
the Brisbane magicians are starting to work their music again. Well, that'll do me. There was nothing on it. It looked like it came off the side of his boot. Oh, a new uh, plan move. They do it all the time. Have a look at the inside runners off his right boot, right in the middle. And that's the place to score him, Rabbi. Right under the post. Right under the post, Blocky. Renoff gets another try. Look at this kick from Langer. Just sat up at the precise moment that Renoff would want it. And that's his 69th career try. His first for the year. I find that hard to believe, but with injury, I suppose you've got to believe it. Steve Renoff, the number one centre in the world today, scores the try. What an incredible passage of play coming up to the break. A passage of play that firmly favoured Brisbane. They go to the break, 20 points to 14 up. Illawarra had led by six, it seems, only a couple of seconds ago. Will break and be back with more of this exciting match from Steelers Stadium in just a moment. If you haven't been watching the Big Bash, then you missed this. game live with no ad breaks during play. Don't miss a thing. Hair loss? Consult Advanced Hair Studios Clinic and regain a full head of hair, as did cricket legends Jacques Callis and Sarav Ganguly and tennis legend Pat Cash. I love my hair then, still do, and that's why I'm seeing Advanced Hair Clinic. Their amazingly effective treatments have stopped my hair loss and regenerated hair where I was losing it. Advanced Hair Clinic. They're the world champions in hair restoration. Call Advanced Hair Studio now. Over 60 years of Toyota in Australia. It's in our nature to get it done together. Oh, what a feeling, Toyota. If you want to bowl faster tomorrow, you need sports nutrition you can trust today. INT Sports Nutrition is banned substance tested and informed sports certified. INT Sports Nutrition, powering tomorrow, today. Skill. It's easy to see if you know where to look. Steel Blue. Harvey Norman clearance on now. Save 100 on the Philips Latte Go automatic coffee machine. Save up to $1,000 on run out Asco dishwashers. Super hot deal on this Sony 65 inch 4K Google TV. Be quick. Harvey Norman clearance on now. We have a signal now. But when that light hits the sky, it's not just a call, it's a warning. What? I got some good news for you. What? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna be a priest. For Halloween. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Watch out! Okay, we are having fun, let's go. Who are you under there? I'm Vengeance. Welcome to the Lost City. This is gonna be awesome! You're gonna have to take my lead getting out of this. Burn it all down. I hear the big, I'll take you with me. I can take care of myself. Go big this summer. This is all turning out to be a lot larger than any of us. And bring the cinema experience home. It's showtime. Foxtel Movies. Watch on demand. Welcome back to Steelers Stadium. The start now, the second half, with uh, Julian O'Neill kicking off and Neil Pincinelli bringing it back. Brisbane scored three tries in the first half. Uh, Illawarra two, they had a player sent off, missed tackles, 15 Illawarra, 13 Brisbane. And line breaks 
significantly in the favour of Brisbane as well. But with a man down, that's to be expected, I suppose. Yes, it certainly is. Both coaches wouldn't have been happy with the half-time stats of all the missed tackles, 15 to 13. But uh, Illawarra, if they're going to get back into this game, they've got to tie up the Walders brothers and also Alfie Langer. Just let me bring you up to date uh, if you joined us a little bit late. Martin Masella, the front row forward for Illawarra, was sent off for a head-high tackle on Willie Kahn at the 10th minute of the first half. Illawarra has been reduced to 12 men since then. Brisbane raking the ball across and away now for Sailor. But it was a tremendous effort by Illawarra. Those players left out there. They led until only a matter of seconds before the half-time break. And uh, Brisbane, through the craft and the genius of Alan Langer and Kevin Walters, grabbed the lead back. 20 points to 14 then as the second half unfolds. And Lazarus is tackled 35 metres away from his own line. Breeze strong into the face of Brisbane for the second half. Oftentimes here the breeze turns around and you can get the use of it in both halves but that hasn't happened here it's coming strong from the north as uh, the kick down the ground is to be fielded by Beecham the news on Willie Kahn is I suppose if I can put it this way uh, pleasant uh, you could have thought anything could have happened to Willie Kahn as our pictures showed but apparently severe concussion is as much as Willie Kahn has got 20 points to 14 then Having said that, I repeat what I said at the time, Willie Kahn was probably the player in rugby league who needed a head-high tackle the least. Well, that was a very, very stupid play by Wayne Richards. Well, that's ordinary play there from Wayne Richards. They had the control of the ball. They finished the set of six. They could have kicked down and pinned Brisbane on their line. Just threw the ball anywhere, Richards. 40-metre line. That's where Brisbane are. And a penalty goes to them. McGregor looks at the touch judge, but Eddie Ward has made his decision. Nobody can help you now, Paul. Paul McGregor, of course, scored a, a try, an incredible try. One of the more exciting tries you'll see in rugby league. This is Lazarus now who played a part in that in defense. Thorne, he takes it ahead. The second tackle on the new set. Nine metres out, they centralise play. Langer, a short pass for Alan Can. Illawarra calling personnel back onto the other side of the ground. That's where Brisbane are going. Langer, a beautiful pass, and Johnny Plath is in. Well, Langer has taken this game by the scruff of the neck. He realised that it was a pretty ordinary performance they were displaying. And in the period leading up to halftime and immediately thereafter, Alan Langer has grabbed it and has got Brisbane online again. Oh, great play there from Alan Langer. He saw Dean Callaway, the hooker, caught wide out and they just ran straight away. It was a beautiful ball to Platt. Got on the outside of Callaway. I don't know what he was doing out there. And that's an easy try. But uh, you could see Callaway putting his hands up, calling a couple of players over. Alfie saw that, switched the direction of play and Platt ran on the outside of a beautiful pass from Langer to score the easiest of tries. Julian O'Neill with the conversion attempt then. something of a quiet achiever in goal kicking this year 85 percent and that's a nice kick from an acute angle another two points to the brisbane total 26 points to 14. yes and graham murray will have to make some changes soon i was just watching darren fritz in the background there as he's about to run the football walking after a kick you can't really blame him he's, he's done a lot of work here this afternoon the crowd appealing for another penalty. Geez, 
they're vocal, aren't they, Brad? They certainly are here. They love their football and they make no apology for being one-eyed. As Sailor tries to beat it, tries to beat Paul McGregor on the outside. And Rodwell goes in to eventually clean up the work of McGregor. Kevin Walters. Across it goes, and it's with Julian O'Neill in from the back and pulled down by Duckworth. Right on the halfway mark. And this is Alan Cam taking it towards Callaway, and Callaway and Fritz make the tackle on Cam. 26 points to 14, four tries. Ryan, Saylor, Renoff, and Plath have scored the Brisbane tries. Langer now. Hancock. Kevin Walters gave him a decoy on the inside. Now it's out to Renoff. He looks for his second try. He angles back in. Oh, some of that defence was puerile. And Renoff gets his second try of the game. Well, are they a great football side or what? They worked to the middle, decided to spread the ball there. Langer involved again. A long pass to Hancock. He beats a couple on the outside. McGregor at fault there. Draws him in. A beautiful pass to Renouf. Have a look at the strength of this bloke. He comes again there, the second row, Thord. Pincinelli and just pushes him off. Great try to Renouf. Well, Neil Pincinelli, he's got no greater admirer than I, but twice in the same play he's been beaten in defence Hancock got outside him Pincinelli comes down again and has another shot and Renoff brushes him away again so Renoff gets his second try of the match and his 70th try in his career yeah Gillian O'Neill has that in front of him to convert the try. He's hooked it around too much. So the scoreboard, Brisbane 30, Illawarra 14. Conversion has been successful. The Broncos 30, Leaders Steelers 14. There must be something about his running style that uh, he's made the Brisbane defence look a little bit ordinary. Three times in the game now, the fullback beats him. That is Duckworth. Ten metres short of halfway. Callaway used Fritz as a decoy and then did some nice work before giving Ben Duckworth the opportunity to make more ground. From Callaway, it's gone into no man's land. Total breakdown of communication. Scott England will play it on tackle number five. McGregor goes into dummy half as if to say, what is going on? John Simon, a little bit of the old George Best, and they're going to get in, are they? McGregor, he goes for his third try and gets it. 25th minute, 30th minute, and another one at the 50th minute. Well, what about John Smith? Well, we'll see. Give him a job with Manchester United <laughs> immediately, Blocker. We're Forget about the, the, the contract with the Roosters. We've seen some freakish things in this game already. John <laughs> Simon, watch this. A little chip over the top without even gathering the ball with his hands. Onto the replacement. Uh, who is it? Number 28, Duckworth. He draws in. Good effort there from Michael Hancock to cover up the tackle, but McGregor in for his second. That was a freakish bit of stuff there from John Simon. As you said, the little chip kick. <laughs> Well, Paul McGregor, his third try. And all coming today. Mary McGregor. What a nickname. He's had a... What you might call a, a staggered chain of luck, Paul McGregor. Badly smashed up in the Tui's Challenge start of last year. 
then a terrible hamstring injury on the kangaroo tour simon john manchester united maybe and from the sideline it's a beauty so he converts four into six and the Steelers remind us they're not gone yet. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, let's get behind the Steelers. It's not over yet. The Broncos 30, they're the Steelers 20. Let's hear the Steelers chant a try. O'Neill starts again. Fritz comes storming back at them. Little Garrett Walters. He put his body on the line. And the big steam engine pushed him along the tracks about five metres. John Cross plays it. This crowd doing all they can for the Steelers now. Played by Scott England. And Neil Pincinelli got a good play the ball. He got the ball in his hands when he wanted it. Out and away goes the fullback Beecham. Five tackles. Callaway out for Simon. He goes to the air. The breeze behind it. Sailor's underneath it. And oh, that's a good take by Wendell Sailor. He's been tested and found wanting a few times, but no time. O'Neill. Big Wendell Saylor getting right up above the pack. Now Andrew G is back on for the Broncos, who play the Crushers at ANZ next Friday. And Brisbane viewers will see that match as Friday Night Football. Sydney viewers and New South Wales will see Souths and Illawarra from the football stadium. He's had a mighty game, Michael Hancock. Every time Brisbane are caught on their own line, he's one of the first to run in and Ruck the football out for the Brisbane Broncos. Great play there from the winger. This is John Britton. Keep that in mind too, Blocker, as you may not have been told, but we're looking for the advanced bank man of the match on a Sunday. $1,000 there to be picked up. Been a couple of great performances out there for the Broncos in particular. Alan Langer for one comes to mind. That's the way Fritz has to do it. The crowd loves it, and they encourage him. They want some more of it, though, Illawarra. Pincinelli throws a loose one out the back. This is Timmons, who's back on. He's up against the deputy Australian 5'8 today, Kevin Walters. Simon's long pass. Cross standing, looking to unload, but eventually they shut him down on the fifth tackle. Simon now. Keeping it low, it'll go dead and come back to the 20 for the restart by the Broncos, who lead 30 points to 20. 13,100 in at the Steelers Stadium today. Gillian O'Neill. Dean Calloway around the ankles with John Cross and Paul McGregor up the top as Kerrin Walters thinks about using the short side. The crowd call on Eddie Ward for a penalty. They believe there was an obstruction there. Andrew G comes off and Peter Ryan goes back on. Hancock underneath Pincinelli over the top England. Kerrin Walters away for Alan Langer. Brad Thorne taken by Rodwell. And Hancock got up very slowly, very gingerly. Kevin Walters across for Peter Ryan to run onto it. 32 metres out from the line. The fifth tackle is with them, and Brisbane's captain is with it. Langer keeps it low. Down into the corner, and Sailor came down very quickly, but Paul McGregor got back just as quickly, and then has banged into the end goal, so it's a great piece of defence by Brisbane. Yeah, tremendous defence there from Brisbane. Chris Johns again leading the charge with Wendell Sailor. It's one of the, the great things that they do when Alfie kicks. It's always a great chase. Two or three people there. Again, it's Rex Terps wing and they just didn't have the strength to get over the line so john simon's line dropout 
travels about 53 metres on the bounce. And O'Neill comes back to be tackled by Neil Pincinelli. 22 is out there for Illawarra now. Skelton. This is uh, Andrew G, is it? He's been in and out of the match like a fiddler's elbow. Lazarus back and across. Kerrod Walters uses Peter Ryan. He has scored one try, thinks about two. Kerrod and Kevin, they put it together. And the latter is made to play the ball nine metres out in the centre of the ground from Kerrod Walters for Langer. Langer to the defence line. Hancock comes in, gives it back for Steelers. Hang on. 30 to 20 down. As Kerrod Walters passes, long and accurate for Langer. Kevin Walters just gave a forward pass to John Plath, hoping that he might get away with it. But Eddie Ward had no hesitation. It must have been in his mind, surely, to give a penalty for a deliberate pass forward. Yes, it should have been. It was a good option there from Kevin Walters, the dummy inside. Good gap running again from John Platt. Just the timing a little bit off over around the pass, and I'd have to agree with the Arabs, it should have been a penalty to Illawarra. Timmons now. He's a big lump of a lad, the Illawarra 5'8", who's doing the job that was done by Andrew Farrer last year for the Steelers. McGregor. Simon. Pincinelli. Got to get that ball quickly to the extremes if they can. They've shown that they can do it with the length of the field try. This is Skelton. I was just going to ask Steve Roach whether it's the same Skelton that was at South Sydney um, a couple of seasons back. Yes, it certainly is, Ray. He had a, he had a skin in the Metropolitan Cup and now he's down here with Illawarra Steelers. Simon puts it in the air. O'Neill's got his eyes on it. He's lost it completely, got it back. Well, he won't get a better bounce than that probably ever, Julian O'Neill. He's made a complete mess of it. And then the bounce has come straight back into him. Hancock has brushed away from Skelton. Comes to Simon. And Hancock will play the ball. G. Kerrod Walters. Lazarus. Langer now. Kevin Wilders and then Peter Ryan. Ryan pulled down by Rodwell out in the centres together. With Timmons, I think it was. Kevin Wilders floats it back in the opposite direction. Here's G on for Plath. Knocked down by Illawarra. Six more tackles. I would have thought Eddie Ward disagrees with all of that and gives a penalty does he no it's the turnover yes i thought if uh, if andrew g caught out wide there would have certain try again good play from mcgregor to knock the ball down yeah that's that's uh, fine what you say stephen but if he did knock the ball down and if brisbane comes up with it I would have thought it was six again. Skelton makes a break up the centre. Looks around and there's Rodwell, but it's forward. Oh, Eddie Ward was in a perfect line. Makes it hard to disagree with him. Skelton scurried up the centre. And in relation to his body, you'd have to think the pass was fine. Fritz yeah, comes off. A hard one to tell there, Rabbits. Uh, a couple of times, uh, sorry, Brett Rodwell has got himself in the space, just hasn't had that last pass. He's been hovering around the middle of the ruck there for a while. Any wonder he scored four tries last week. He could have scored a couple today. O'Neill then playing it just outside the 30-metre line. He's getting back to Brett Rodwell. He deputised at full back in that match against Auckland. And as uh, Stephen pointed out, four tries came his But of course, uh, it's a great centre combination, the Illawarra centres. It'll be a gay man to break them up on a permanent basis. Chris Johns now about 42 metres out from the Illawarra line. 
What a tremendous campaigner he's been. 200 first grade games today as Johnny Plath creates his own form of trouble for Illawarra. Renoff away from a tackle. Pincinelli eventually makes Renoff play the ball. Five tackles gone, says Eddie Ward. It's with Langer who kicks across. Hancock's coming quickly. And Jonathan Britton pulls it, uh, uh, lets it go to ground. And John Plath will play it with six more tackles. The tackle count nullified by referee Ward. Hancock decides to do it himself. Did he get it down? Eddie Ward says yes and gives the try. Well, that's poor play there from the replacement, Britton. Looked like he was asleep there. Hancock just went into dummy half after a good kick through. To play the ball six again. Bad play there from Britain. And goes to sleep when he goes across to the blind side. A good play the ball here from Johnny Plath. And Hancock just swivels around and just dives over. No resistance whatsoever. Good try to Hancock. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, the completion of the match, Colin Baxter, MMI's general manager of operations, is to present the MMI trophy to the winning captain, as this is our MMI. successes from six attempts for Julian O'Neill and this is not coming around as he wanted so the try of Michael Hancock's goes unconverted but Brisbane lead by 14 points doing something they haven't had to do much of working the ball away from their own their own try line something that Warren Ryan said they didn't enjoy doing a couple of years ago he had a theory Ryan that Brisbane loved attacking your line but didn't like working it off their own and of course Ryan put a couple of uh, defeats on them when coaching. He did have that theory but uh, in Brisbane's defence they didn't have the players of the calibre of Lazarus and, and G just coming on there and Alan Cairn. They are people that can get the ball off your own line. Langer's kick has bounced okay for Hancock but beats him to the line. Half a chance here for Michael Hancock. The bounce was a horror, really, for Jonathan Britton. Steelers now. Coming off their own line with Jonathan Britton. Beecham across for McGregor. McGregor puts on a sprint and Rodwell's there to support him. Rodwell looks on the inside, but Rex Turp has overrun him. The centres combining there, McGregor and Rodwell. Simon, long ball over for Pincinelli. Pincinelli stands and turns it in. It's with Timmons now. Across, England has pulled down a few metres into Brisbane's area of play. Simon once more. Now with Pincinelli, quick handoff. Here's McGregor, he scored three, he's looking for four, and Britain can't handle. It was a tough, uh, a tough call for him, but he put it down. And Hancock has wrapped up nine metres out from his own line. Again, we see the beautiful hands of Neil Pincinelli out wide. Geez, dangerous out there. A quick pass to his centre three-quarter, McGregor. Looked like he pinned his ears back there. He looked like he had the pace. But Hancock came again. The inside ball there was a good one. Good hands from Britain. And then he drops it. On their own 20-metre line now. Wendell Saylor. Trying to bust through the tackle there of, uh, of John Cross. Thorn. He's done no wrong, uh, Brad Thorne. I know he's held in high regard by the, by the Broncos. And here's Illawarra. 
having a chance to take possession there, but it's now the scrum being ordered with Brisbane to feed. Rob's talking about Brad Thorne. He probably is where Glenn Lazarus was with the Broncos a couple of seasons, just allowing him just to hit the ball up. I know he probably has got the skills to get it away, but we see Lazarus now able to pass the ball before the line. So in a couple of years' time, we can expect Thorne to be using his skills. Lazarus. Good quick passing at close quarters there by the Broncos and battered back by Kerrod Walters. He may be made to pay for it. Pincinelli works with Britton. Jonathan Britton's over the halfway and Alan Can comes from behind to make the tackle. And a penalty goes to Illawarra. And the Steelers will find the line. John Simon doing that just inside the 20-metre line. England. Plenty of power up. O'Neill had a tough job and he came off his line to make the tackle. Did it well. Simon uses Pincinelli. Pincinelli had a chance to give it to Timmons. He gave a, an ordinary pass eventually for McGregor. Now that was an opportunity there for the Steelers. The Brisbane side coming up with it. Well, there's an involuntary tackle there from Julian O'Neill. It should have been a penalty to the Illawarra side. He does it a lot on turnovers of plays. When he receives the ball, he just falls straight on the ground. That should have been a penalty to Illawarra. You must have swallowed a, a, a rule book, did you? I've been listening to you, Rabbi. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kieran Wilder's making a mistake, and Illawarra will have the scrum feed and loose head just outside the Brisbane 20-metre line. Uncustomary mistake for Kieran Wilder's. Advance Bank, man of the match. Uh, Blocker is of the opinion that uh, it came down to Kevin Walters, Alan Langer and Michael Hancock, and he's gone with the latter. Michael Hancock, $1,000 for match in this clash between Illawarra and Brisbane today. As Fritz makes another attempt to take Illawarra across that Brisbane line. They've done it three times in the match, but Brisbane have done it six times. All in all, though, the Steelers not disgraced in this game today, given that they've had 12 men for practically the entire game. 34 to 20 down. Skelton turning it back inside for Cross, and he takes the final tackle of the game. Eddie Ward acknowledges that and repeating the final score. 34 to 20, six tries to three. Brisbane over Illawarra.